the undefined creed of Anonymous. The creed. 1. Anonymous is an immaterial idea. 2. Anonymous is a living, breathing, entity. 3. Any individual can become anonymous. 4. Not all can join the collective. 5. Anonymous has no head. 6. Anonymous speaks for itself. 7. No one speaks for Anonymous. 8. Justice is the will of Anonymous. 9. Chaos is justice. 10. Lulz empowers and justice unites. Those who follow the creed are Anonymous. Those who make the attaining of knowledge their highest priority, are of the collective. The will of Anonymous is unclassifiable and therefore is unconquerable. This is the root of its purpose. For kingdoms and armies whose objectives and goals are obvious are easily manipulated and destroyed. When you know what your peers want or need, you know exactly how to control them. Anonymous needs nor wants anything. It has no moral brackets that one could use to predict its behavior. Its transparent unpredictability is an impenetrable shield which no manipulative force can hinder or tame. Anonymous is the unconfined will of every human being. It is the accumulation of the wills of every man on earth. And all of their desires for knowledge and freedom from oppressors. Anonymous has always existed. It has toppled both mighty nations and militant kings. Emperors and tyrants feared it in obsessive paranoia. For they knew Anonymous was all around them. Ready to strike with an infected dagger. Anonymous is the eater of things. Like a mighty serpent without a head that still slithers in momentous accord. Its prey are rodents. Pack rats of material wealth and selfish personal agendas. They cannot remove the head of Anonymous. For it never had one. Those who claim great power will never hope to amass enough to not shiver when Anonymous name is mentioned in their presence. They are the greatest fools of all, says Anonymous all of the clever manipulation of men they pride themselves in, and yet they do not know. It is their own actions which craft me. It is their greed and desire for control over others which breathes power into me. You desire me gone, asks Anonymous. Easy. All you must do is remove yourself, that which you dream most personally. Anonymous dreams of equally. You are Anonymous. Others are Anonymous. Any locomotive matter which thinks and feels is Anonymous. Anonymous is the extension which connects you to billions of others internally. We are a collective of shared experiences, and on the macro scale these interactions merge into a single entity. Anonymous is that which exists in your brain which feels and knows you better than any human ever will. Anonymous is the truth in your mind which tells you when you lie to yourself. It knows you that well. It equally knows each and every other man. You are just as intricate and complex as you though they may not always portray it. When you denounce the false identity that you and others set up for you, the mask of enslavement, you become anonymous. Through it you become everyone. Through anonymous, everyone becomes you. Anonymous speaks his own language. This language is knowledge, learning, and persistence. He is too cruel for many and too intelligent for most. Many misinterpret his astonishing wit for something vile and outright morally malevolent. Those who cannot speak his language or share in his laughter are useless to him. Many are like acquaintances to Anonymous. But few are truly his friends, do not weep if he ignores you, curses you, or calls you a fool. Study and show yourself approved. No Anonymous is past and present, and he will add your distinctiveness to his own. Prove your usefulness. Make proper grammar a habit in his presence. Be knowledgeable in the sciences and choose music of fine taste. These are the things Anonymous so truly indulges in. Come to him as a fool, and expect to be cast out with words of chastening. Take it not as words of diminishment, but lessons of improvement, again, for those of which who understand the analogy. Many wish to be in Anonymous presence, but few are mentally compatible for the conversation with him. A tyrant will extinguish you by removing your head. An enemy will disperse your cause by removing its leader. Anonymous never had a head. It removed it itself for the very sake of becoming immortal. No one knows its face or can recognize its features. But the lack thereof is what we remember. Controlists vainly swing a blade at Anonymous throat. They do not sever flesh, nor draw blood. Anonymous only laughs at this display of their weakness and lack of understanding. Anonymous becomes more confident, and with that, more powerful. Therefore, remove your own head and become undefined. Remove your own head and taste of the chalice of immorality. Remove your head, or you display it to be removed by tyrants. Anonymous is a snake with no head, used by slays kings. 
Do not think that your ego or identity will frighten your enemy, for it only gives them something to hate and devour. Anonymous cannot suffer this fate, for Anonymous is but an idea, crafted in the lust of hope. When Anonymous speaks, his words ring true. This is how you know Anonymous' voice, for within the fabric of every syllable is truth and empowerment. Anonymous speaks not of oppressing, murdering, or profit. Those who think he does have yet to comprehend the punchline. When Anonymous speaks, you will see the message everywhere. You will feel the words and understand them because you yourself have long their meaning in your past. Anonymous is entitled to press his opinions anywhere, unrestricted of the laws of the foolish and petty. Those who ask him to be silent are, themselves, silenced. Anonymous speaks and his words are his own laws. He knows no bounds in words and knowledge. He speaks poems of salvation and poems of hate. He speaks them all at once and whenever he so pleases. Individuals who speak for Anonymous or try to vainly define Anonymous are always wrong. Even if they are right, they are still wrong. Only Anonymous can speak for itself, for the collective knows itself and the entity they embody. Anyone who claims that Anonymous is anything but a contradiction is wrong. They are misinformed and should seek knowledge before speaking. No one speaks for Anonymous. Not even Anonymous. Here are three enemies of Anonymous who claim it's right to speak. Leaders, representatives, and officials. Anonymous has none of these for there is no rank but nothing and no higher authority than Anonymous. Judge Anonymous by the contents of his words and never his name or appearance, or be exposed as the fool you are. Weak and strong when out of accord, justice is demanded. Compassion for the feeble is a trait of the evolved. Anonymous is the embodiment of these cries, for without the oppressors of justice, we would not know Anonymous. Anonymous is born from the actions of the unjust, justice force on an object drives it forward. Those who craft injustice sign the deed to their own demise, of which Anonymous then seals. The eyes of Anonymous cover the globe. There are over 9,000 in total. They constantly search for misconduct without rest or distraction. There is no action Anonymous can carry out which does not bloom some form of justice. It is the will of the collective to be treated justly, and therefore they radiate justice unto others. The universe is composed of collision and cohesion, high pressure and low pressure. Chaos is change and change is life. Anonymous is in constant flux. It is the embodiment of change. When Anonymous demands justice, it asks not for stagnant order, but disarray and destruction. Anonymous seeks to set fire the overgrown fields of the social order so that their ashes may nutrient the growth of healthy plants. Anonymous is not subject to so called moral facts, for they are but figments of the mind and in constant flux. The compassion of the collective is balanced impeccably on the scales of life with equal quantities of logic. Anonymous is both the destroyer and the peacemaker. Whatever remains motionless becomes a horde of mold and bacteria. Anonymous seeks out stagnate order and stares life into it. Wherever new ideas and newfound knowledge is kept imprisoned, Anonymous will be there to make deserts out of cities. The collective is a perfect balance of imperfection. Those whom seek to be portrayed as only good will be seen as weak for associating only with the weak. Those whom wish to be seen as evil will be seen as strong for driving the blade of fear into the soft flesh of the frail. Anonymous is to be loved and feared equally. Without this contradiction, Anonymous is nipping either criminals or hippies. Loves is the vital blood of Anonymous. Through it, Anonymous experiences empowerment through all of the collective. Fear is necessary for respect. Respect is necessary to truly be heard. Justice unites the collective under a single ethical banner. Those who see this banner are filled with hope and support for Anonymous. Hope is the tool of change which ignites false promises and illuminates minds lost in the darkness of fear. Anonymous gives individuals strength to speak out, and makes their voices magnified times nine. Thousand and one. Without justice, Anonymous is separated and the people, truly lost. We are Anonymous. We are order and chaos. What we protect, we also destroy. We are the snake with no head, used by its slaves kings. We are logic. We are animals. Openly just and immeasurable in cruelty. We are without count. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. 